Tornado strike Arkansas, Illinois, four dead, dozens injured. A monster storm system tore through the South and Midwest on Friday, spawning deadly tornadoes that shredded homes and shopping centers in Arkansas and collapsed a theater roof during a heavy metal concert in Illinois. At least one person was killed and more than two dozen were hurt, some critically, in the Little Rock area, authorities said. The town of Wynn in northeastern Arkansas was also devastated, and officials reported two dead there, along with destroyed homes and people trapped in the debris. Authorities said a theater roof collapsed during a tornado in Belvedere, Illinois, killing one person and injuring 28, five of them severely. The Belvedere Police Department said the collapse occurred as a heavy storm rolled through the area and that calls began coming from the theater at 7.48 p.m. It said that an initial assessment was that a tornado had caused the damage. The collapse occurred at the Apollo Theater during a heavy metal concert in the town located about 70 miles, 113 kilometers, northwest of Chicago. Belvedere Fire Department Chief Sean Shadle said 260 people were in the venue. He said first responders also rescued someone from an elevator and had to grapple with downed power lines outside the theater. Belvedere Police Chief Shane Woody described the scene after the collapse as chaos, absolute chaos. Gabrielle Llewellyn had just entered the theater when a portion of the ceiling collapsed. I was there within a minute before it came down, she told WTVO-TV. The winds, when I was walking up to the building, it went like from zero to a thousand within five seconds. Some people rushed to lift the collapsed portion of the ceiling and pull people out of the rubble, said Llewellyn, who wasn't hurt. They dragged someone out from the rubble and I sat with him and I held his hand and I was, telling him, it's going to be okay. I didn't really know much else what to do. There were more confirmed twisters in Iowa and wind-whipped grass fires blazed in Oklahoma, as the storm system threatened a broad swath of the country home to some 85 million people. The destructive weather came as President Joe Biden toured the aftermath of a deadly tornado that struck in Mississippi one week ago and promised the government would help the area recover. The Little Rock tornado tore first through neighborhoods in the western part of the city and shredded a small shopping center that included a Kroger grocery store. It then crossed the Arkansas River into North Little Rock and surrounding cities where widespread damage was reported to homes, businesses, and vehicles. In the evening, officials in Pulaski County announced a confirmed fatality in North Little Rock, but did not immediately give details. Baptist Health Medical Center Little Rock officials told KATV in the afternoon that 21 people had checked in there with tornado-caused injuries, including five in critical condition. Mayor Frank Scott Jr., who announced that he was requesting assistance from the National Guard, tweeted in the evening that property damage was extensive and we are still responding. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders activated 100 members of the Arkansas National Guard to help local authorities respond to the damage throughout the state. In Little Rock, resident Nikki Scott took cover in the bathroom after her husband called to say a tornado was headed her way. She could hear glass shattering as the tornado roared past, and emerged afterward to find that her house was one of the few on her street that didn't have a tree fall on it. It's just like everyone says. It got really quiet, then it got really loud, Scott said afterward, as chainsaws roared and sirens blared in the area. At Clinton National Airport, passengers and workers sheltered temporarily in bathrooms. Praying for all those who were and remain in the path of this storm, Sanders, who declared a state of emergency, said on Twitter. About 50 miles, 80 kilometers, west of Memphis, Tennessee, the small city of Wynn, Arkansas, saw widespread tornado damage, Sanders confirmed. St. Francis County Coroner Miles J. Kimball told the AP by phone Friday night that he was assisting the Cross County Coroner in Wynn and that two people died there in the tornado. The governor at a briefing with Little Rock officials Friday night said it was possible the number of deaths could rise. City Council Member Lisa Powell Carter told AP that the town wind was without power and roads were full of debris. 
I'm in a panic trying to get home, but we can't get home, she said. Wynn is so demolished. There's houses destroyed, trees down on streets. The unrelenting tornadoes continued spawning and touching down in the area into the night. The police department in Covington, Tennessee, said on Facebook that the West Tennessee city was impassable after power lines and trees fell on roads when the storm passed through Friday evening. Authorities in Tipton County, north of Memphis, said a tornado appeared to have touched down near the middle school in Covington and in other locations in the rural county. Tipton County Sheriff Shannon Beasley said on Facebook that homes and structures were severely damaged. Tornadoes moved through parts of eastern Iowa with sporadic damage. One tornado veered just west of Iowa City, home to the University of Iowa. Video from KCRG-TV showed toppled power poles and roofs ripped off an apartment building in the suburb of Coralville and significantly damaged homes in the city of Hills. Nearly 90,000 customers in Arkansas lost power, according to PowerUtage.us, which tracks outages. In neighboring Oklahoma, wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, fueled fast-moving grass fires. People were urged to evacuate homes in far northeast Oklahoma City, and troopers shut down portions of Interstate 35. In Illinois, Ben Wagner, chief radar operator for the Woodford County Emergency Management Agency, said hail broke windows on cars and buildings in the area of Roanoke, northeast of Peoria. More than 109,000 customers had lost power in the state as of Friday night. More outages were reported in Iowa, Missouri, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Indiana, and Texas. Fire crews battled several blazes near El Dorado, Kansas, and some residents were asked to evacuate, including about 250 elementary school children who were relocated to a high school. At Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, a traffic management program was put into effect that caused arriving planes to be delayed by nearly two hours on average, WFLD-TV reported. The National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center had forecast an unusually large outbreak of thunderstorms with the potential to cause hail, damaging wind gusts and strong tornadoes that could move for long distances over the ground.